Hello everyone, hallo Leute, and welcome. I'm Sir Nigel, and it's Monday, that means it's time for a retro game. On one of my recent videos, 8-Bit Andy Hug suggested taking a look at Street Fighter 2. He said it wasn't that great a game. Let's play it and find out. Who shall we be? They're all here. I have to say I enjoy this Commodore 64 rendition of the Street Fighter 2 music. Guile. Japan. Now remember, dear viewer, that the Commodore 64 only has one button. If you play a Super Street Fighter 2 on the Sega Genesis, if you're using the six button controllers, then you have six buttons, but the Commodore 64 only has the one button, which means if you tap the button, you kick. If you press forward and hit the button, you punch. And then if you press backwards and hit the button, you use one of your specials. At least you do with Guile. Come on. Looks like we're doing pretty well here. You win. I think in this Commodore 64 version, each character only has two special moves. Now, how you pull off the other special move, I'm not sure. And this game has tons of slowdown all the time, which I'm sure you can see very easily. Plus, it's just kind of slow to begin with. That background music is on a very short loop. I guess every level must have the same background music in this game. And like I just said, it's just a very short music loop. Oh boy, there's that lag. Look at that. We might actually be able to pull off a perfect this time. Ah, you win. Perfect. Ah, uh, there we go. Now, of course, with E Honda, you don't want to let him get close to you because he could sit on you. Plus, I've heard he smells funny. I do like Street Fighter. So far, my favorite version is the Super Championship Sparkle Alpha version for the PlayStation. All in all, I think they probably did the most they could with the 8-bit hardware that's available to them. Guile versus Ken. Doesn't Ken usually wear yellow or, or something? You know, the backgrounds to the different stages actually look pretty decent. They look pretty true to the backgrounds that I'm used to. It's just the music, which is... Ah. I suppose I could try to pull out the background music and insert something more pleasing. So I think maybe I will right here. Oh, jump attack. Oh, look at that chop. Wow, oh, that's some mighty, mighty chop there. Chun-Li. So does that look like a woman to you with these tiny 8-bit graphics? I will say in this version, Guile's sonic boom attack is much easier to pull off because you just hit back and press the button just as much as you want. You don't even have to charge it up or anything. Sonic boom! And dance. Zangief! Zangief! Hua! Zangief! Look at that Zangief! He's all kind of Zangief around here, isn't he? He just, he just jumps all over the place being that Zangief. 
Just Zangief and that crazy. Zangief. Well, the game locked up while loading the Dalsum level. So that's going to do it for this video. This is definitely a game, and it's definitely on the Commodore 64. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Rub a dub dub on that like button if you did. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you like retro games, tune in again for another Retro Monday. And if you like all sorts of games, then check out the other videos here on the channel. So tune in again next time for more videos. And remember, if you tickle the Yeti, it might just tickle back. Hooah!